Tiny House streaming here. It's Tuesday morning, the morning that I need to drop my load here in Texas. Um, I'm about to start my day. If you can see where I'm parked at, it's like a little parking lot, but when I'm on the freeway, it was right as you get off an exit, like um, instead of going down the exit, there was like just a little opening right there. But if I go out the way I came in, which is perfectly doable, um, I actually have to go out of the exit down and then come back up, like sit at a light and come back up. Um, so what I'm doing every now and then, you do want to walk away from your truck to look at what is happening around you. So what I did was I just walked a little bit and to try to see if there was any openings I could go out where I don't have to actually even go down the exit and stop at the light and get back on the exit if I could just get straight back on the freeway which is this it's like a highway so it's not so this is the traffic you're seeing going by is the highway traffic um, and I see a stop sign right here so I am able to just pull out when the highway is clear I can get right back on it which will save me a few minutes versus having to go my eye is watering um versus having to go sit at the light and everything and it looked like it might have been two or three lights before you get back on the freeway so don't be scared to get out of your truck walk a little bit and check out your surroundings to see what your best route out is um because sometimes it could save you a few minutes and why not save a few minutes if you can but I hope everybody has a great day. It's nice out here. It feels good. I am. I don't know where at in Texas I'm at. Um, I'm so horrible with knowing like what city I'm at. But um, I'm close to Farmers Branch, Texas, and it's nice out here. The weather is perfect. Like if it would stay like this all day, this is perfect. It has that little bit of. Um, morning chipper in the air but nothing where it's actually cold like it just feels good um but i'll talk to you guys later i'm back at the truck and see this is where i ended up being so i could have was just i was i would have made a big u-turn and went right back out where i was but i would have had to like go through all of this stuff like down and exit and then like it looked like there was at least two lights before the exit kind of went back up. So I'm glad that I found that alternate route. But I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye. So I made it to my shippers. Docks. Well, that's the passenger side. There's a little truck on my driver's side. I think they are done with me. Um, I'm just waiting to have them call me to give me the lumper fee because I'm pretty sure that there are lumpers here at this facility um but yeah guys so i made it talk to you later guys my morning is going good got my baby backed up into the dock the lumpers are taking care of me other than having to pay them but hope everybody has a great day happy wednesday everybody just checking in what is this on my face just checking in I dropped my load today they changed my appointment time to 7 30 I'm not sure if I said that to you guys or not already but as I was driving yesterday I got a message saying that instead of dropping my load at midnight this morning it changed to 7 30 a.m. so I got there early dropped my load early um, I've been sitting here at a truck stop I think this is a Petro and what state am I in again Arkansas um, it's like two miles from where I dropped my load um, and I just got my next load I'm headed to Tennessee to pick it up and then I am taking it to North Carolina so I'm looking forward to that ride it's about 800 miles total 186 um, empty and 600 something like 630 or something loaded um, pays really good for the short amount of miles it's due on Friday I think at three o'clock I believe if I'm remembering right so definitely a doable load to get it there on time um, but I just wanted to check in I hope everybody's having a beautiful day it's hump day so happy hump day 
and I will talk to you guys along the way. Okay, bye. Hey guys, I just had a shower. I feel nice and clean. Man, if you're not a truck driver, you cannot appreciate how good it feels to take a shower and get clean. Like it's an amazing feeling. Thank gosh for truck stops and showers out here on the road. But now I have to go fill up my reefer and keep pushing to my next destination. I will talk to you guys later. So guys, I just made it to my shipper in Brownsville, Tennessee. My truck's parked right there behind me. I'm walking into the shipping and receiving office. I'm not sure, I see a lot of prime trailers, so I'm not sure if it's a dropping hook, meaning I drop an empty trailer and pick up a loaded trailer that's preloaded, or I do see trucks docked. Um, so I might end up docking and getting a live load. Either way, it doesn't bother me. It's always nice when it's a dropping hook though, just cause that's quick. Couple up to a trailer already and pull out. But if I have to sit and get loaded, I'm fine with that as well. I'm an hour early. I might do have to get loaded. I see that blue truck is a prime truck, so it might not be um, any loaded. These might just be empties on the property. I don't know, but I'm about to find out because there is shipping and receiving. So I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. That was super quick. I was literally in there for three minutes, got my bills, although they're upside down. But I am picking up a loaded trailer that's preloaded. Um, just had to sign a couple pages and they sent me off on my way. So I'm gonna drop my empty, turn it off. I had it, the reefer turned on to pre-cool it. Another tip, although this is a kind of obvious tip, before you get to your shippers, if you are not sure if it's a live load or not, or like a dropping hook if it could be a possibility of a live load um always stop and turn your reefer on because sometimes if you and you want to start pre-cooling it to whatever temperature the app tells you to pre-cool it to um because sometimes you'll get to some receivers and they'll be or shippers they'll be ready to take you right then like dock you and start putting stuff on your trailer but if your trailer's too hot and they don't you know because they eat perishable food it some of it spoils quickly or if it's frozen it can thaw out quickly um, and especially in the summer months so if you happen to back up to the dock and your trailer is not at the proper temperature they might make you wait close the doors and sit and wait till your trailer drops the temperature down to where it's supposed to be so if you stop and turn your reefer on prior to getting here and letting it already be cooling then that just helps you some shippers will load it warm and they realize once you close the doors that it'll cool down, some won't. So it's better for you to not waste your time to just get in the habit of turning your reefer on already. Like my reefer was supposed to be at negative five. I stopped about five miles from here. And you can see, I don't know if you can, but it was at like 81 degrees um, when I, turned it on and it only cooled to 66 so like if I had to be at negative five and they required me to be at that temperature before I could dock if this was a live load um, I would have to sit with my doors closed because your your air will not keep cooling when your doors are open and you know you have to open your doors in order to dock to to dock you know so your trailer is open on their side when they pull the door open so you would literally have to sit here and wait for it to get down to that temperature and then open your doors back up and dock. So you kind of, you know, to save yourself time, just um, pre-cool it. Lesson of the day. And I think I learned that the hard way one time, like while I was in training or something, we had to sit because I didn't pre-cool it. So now some people don't require it, like I said. Um, but now I just do it always because the little bit of gas you're going to use pre-cooling it is nothing like if I have to come and turn it off, that's fine. Just turn it off. But um, all right, guys, I'm about to uncouple from this trailer. So I will check in, check in, talk. I will almost mix my words up. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye. Hello, guys. I got my loaded trailer. There she is right there. I'm parked in the back of a parking lot for tonight and behind KFC. The Prime app um, is pretty cool in the fact that 
a lot of times it will tell you um, in the notes when you like click on your receiver or your shipper in the Prime app it'll put notes and it'll tell you if there's overnight parking where you're going or if there's like a parking lot nearby that you can stop so in this case for this shipper it actually told me that there was parking behind the KFC and McDonald's um, so I stopped here before I went to pick up my trailer and waited um, about an hour prior to my appointment time okay I'm trying to figure out I'm walking to Dairy Queen I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get over there without walking in a ditch I think I walk around but um, anyways I stopped here see this is just like an empty parking lot KFC's right there but it's like huge so there's all kinds of trucks parked here but um, an hour prior to my appointment is when I went and checked in and you guys seen that video and so I figured I would just come here I have like an hour left on my 11 hour clock and hello and so I figured I would stay here for the night and maybe start driving about 2 to 3 a.m. Because I've been off duty for the last two hours since I was so close. It's literally like right a block up the street. How am I going to get over there? I guess I can just stop being lazy and try to shortcut it. Oh, look. No, no. I'm going to walk around. I'm going to walk around, people. Extra steps don't hurt any. But um, what was I coming on here to tell you guys? Oh, my gosh. Oh, well, I guess just that. I'm gonna sit for the night and I'm going to get me some Dairy Queen. I cannot resist a swirly cone. Oh my gosh, <laughs> they're my favorite. So I'm gonna go grab me a Dairy Queen cone. There's a McDonald's literally right next door to Dairy Queen. I might grab me some McDonald's french fries. The best thing you guys, if you have never tried this, try it. My mom does this and she turned me on to it and now I'm like hooked. There's like no sidewalks out here. There's a lot of places, especially like back easty. Is like Tennessee considered back east, guys, or is this like still the south? I'm not really sure, but there's a lot of places around here that don't have sidewalks. And like in California, there's sidewalks everywhere. So I'm completely a sidewalk user and liker. Um, hello. <laughs> Everybody's waving at me. But, um,. Oh my gosh, I've been losing train of thought. Okay, I'm gonna go in here. I'm not gonna look like a crazy person filming in here, so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, look, oh my gosh. This makes my day, oh my gosh. So good, so good. Makes up for no sidewalks. I love you, Tennessee. So good. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> okay, so. I don't even know what I wanted to say anymore. At this point, I'm just sharing my ice cream with you lovely people. Is the sun in your face? Like, I don't know. It looks like it's shiny. Oh my God, y'all. I'm in love with it. Okay. I'm going to enjoy my ice cream. I'm walking back. I'm not even thinking about no McDonald's fries. I don't need them fries anyways. I'm going to walk back to the truck with my big smile. <laughs> And my ice cream, ugh, perfect. It's nice out here, it's a perfect day. Like, I have no complaints at all. Everything today has gone swell. I am um, trying to block the sun. I guess there is no blocking the sun. But um, I got to my receivers on time early. That went smoothly, got it loaded pretty quick not even worried about paying a lumper fee it was hundred and nineteen dollars in case anybody's curious the most I paid in a lumper fee was like 190 or something I think it was one of the that Rhode Island lumper I did and I believe it was like 190 or 189 or something like that oh my ice cream's melting but yeah other than paying a lumper fee it was a good day, but that low paid pretty good, so I'm not worried about the $119. I'm good with it. Got here early. Everything went smoothly. I literally have no complaints, and I'm ending my day in such a happy way. Sorry, Mom. I know you're watching this and probably want to comb. You better get your butt down to Dairy Queen, because I can't bring you one. <laughs> okay, guys. I will talk to you later. Have a good night. Oh. 
I'm trying to enjoy my ice cream. And it's a bug. I'm so scared. It kicked me out the truck, a bug. Look, I'm kind of scared. Do you see the green bug? I can't tell. Yes, it's right there. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know how to get it out. Like, I was just sitting there. I'm going in my ice cream. Mm -mm. What's the bug doing? Oh my gosh. What do I do? Mm -mm. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to like throw stuff at it. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. You guys, I found this nice gentleman that's going to get my bug. Thank you so much. <laughs> I feel so crazy asking somebody to get a bug, but I'm scared. It's like along the, it's right here on that side. Like you might have to sit in the seat here. I can, oh. You see it's green? Like. Here, it's right, it was right there in that hole. Oh my gosh, it flew away. Okay, I don't know where I went. Oh my gosh, <laughs> the bug kicked me out of my truck. He's looking for it. No, it was like bright green, like grass. Color. Okay. I guess me and the bug are gonna be living together tonight, you guys. Oh my gosh. Thank you for trying. I appreciate it. <laughs> I feel so crazy. Okay, thank you. Oh my gosh. Now I'm like scared to go anywhere. You guys. No, he's gone. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. You guys don't have any clue how scary I am. Mom, stop laughing at me. I know that she's at home cracking up right now. Her aim is to be cracking up because she knows. She knows. I'm like so scared to get in here, you guys, because it can literally be anywhere. Like I could just be sitting somewhere and it's literally like right next to my head. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta figure this out.